Crime is a problem around the world, and in the townships of South Africa, this is no exception. It's hard to live in Alex as a youth. It's hard in a sense that opportunities are there, but because of the social issues that we face, we can't reach those opportunities. They get peer pressure from friends that are not at school anymore to drop out. As they drop out of school, they, they use these drugs, they stand in corners, become gangsters, and then there's also a high rate of violence where kids just fight for nothing. Alcohol is destroying the community. The density of the area allows for a lot of things to happen. The young people here in the community generally go into drugs at a very young age. Then that leads to your crime, crime against women, crime against uh, other people, stealing and all of that. When it's late, you must not go out at night. Six o'clock, you must be at home because you are going to get robbed. They are going to take your possessions, cell phone and money, and then if you don't have anything, they beat you up. We find people in Alex grow up with the mentality that um, it's okay to be a thug because how else will I survive? It's okay for a woman or a young woman to look for sugar daddies because how else will I fend for myself? You know, I'm a woman. I'm not supposed to be that. All I'm supposed to be is pretty. So you need to try and get these kids to understand that there's more to life than necessarily what they see. One way to prevent crime is to impart life skills training to young people through sport. Sport appeals to the interests of young people and encourages their engagement, therefore creating learning opportunities. To achieve this, UNODC has launched a global youth crime prevention initiative that builds on this as a tool for peace and uses sport to enhance skills and knowledge. Helps young people become more resilient, make better choices, make better decisions. Line Up Live Up includes 10 highly interactive sessions that target different skill sets and knowledge areas and that can be run with mixed gender groups in sports centers, schools or other community settings. It has been designed with inputs from experts from around the world, including from sports organizations like FIFA and NGOs like Fight for Peace and Grassroots Soccer, with whom we're working in South Africa. We have many sessions that we have that teach life skills, so we actually encourage them to do that and most of the kids actually we get to see the change as we see them in the community. Kids are like sponges. If you give them something positive to do and you give them a positive outlook, regardless of their backgrounds, regardless of where they come from, you'll find that kids will take heed in terms of all the advice you give to them. Surely but slowly, what's going to happen is that you're going to tap into subconscious. Once you've tapped into subconscious about doing good and being a good person and a good individual, he'll be the agent of change in his community. Line Up Live Up strengthens ongoing sports initiatives by introducing an evidence-informed program. We're going to use um, what we've learned here with Line Up Live Up, right, together with what we are doing in order to improve or to better implement the program that we do. And it's going to be very useful because it's going to empower our coaches as well as the children with which we work.